But I want to begin with a big story. The National Investigation Agency is to take over the probe on the attack of the Indian High Commission in London. Remember, pro-Khalistan elements had targeted the Indian High Commission in London. The National Investigation Agency has now been handed over the probe of this March 19 attack. There was an attempt by Khalistan elements to target the National Tricolor. You remember those images. The Delhi police had registered a case under Unlawful Activities Prevention Act. Preliminary investigations that have been carried out so far point to a terror link. The National Investigation Agency that probes terror cases is to carry this investigation forward and is to probe ISI funding Khalistan protesters. I want to quickly cut across and bring in India today's Shiv Arur for more on this big story. Shiv, NIA probing a terror attack on the Indian High Commission in London. This will have huge ramifications diplomatically and of course for the perpetrators and their links even back home. Gaurav, this is clearly, uh, uh, you know, proof that the Indian government is not letting this issue go at all. Uh, what happened on the 19th of March, uh, it has been, uh, you know, pretty clear that the Indian government has taken it to the utmost serious levels uh, as far as what India can do. Uh, you know, apart from the uh, initial reactions, uh, uh, you know, in, uh, uh, in India's diplomatic enclave outside the British High Commission uh, and the British High Commissioner's house, I think uh, this action of the NIA taking over this investigation and putting the spotlight on pro-Khalistani groups, especially people like Gurcharan Singh and Avtar Singh, who led the protest outside. The, you know, I can't really call it a protest. It was a riot by those, uh, the, you know, Khalistani vandals outside the Indian Embassy in London. Uh, scaling a wall, damaging property, uh, pulling down the Indian Tiranga, etc., uh, is going to land them all in a great deal of trouble. The good news is the NIA, you know, gets to travel to London, get information from the Metropolitan Police, conduct its own investigations, uh, you know, search for terror links, etc. Yeah. Uh, the bad news for the Khalistanis uh, in this group is all of their names are known, apart from Avtar Singh and Gurcharan Singh, yes. all of their names are known. Uh, all of their financial records, uh, transactions, uh, details of their families, details of their properties here in India, details of their known persons here in India, uh, financial transactions uh, overseas, etc., will all be known right now. And if any of them have something to lose, whether it is an OCI uh, document, whether it is a PIO document of some kind, any kind of facilities that they enjoy as far as uh, you know their uh, country of origin is concerned, they can kiss it goodbye now because the NIA uh, obviously has been unleashed in a manner that means they need to face justice. They need to be taught a lesson, an example needs to be set that what they did was the highest form of harm that an Indian mission abroad can, uh, can, can sustain and therefore India is not going to stop until it has hunted down each one of these people through whatever means necessary, through partnership with the Metropolitan Police, through action against their families and their properties here in India and to make them pay for what happened on March the 19th. That's what the NIA getting involved really means. These elements must be made to pay and they, of course, must be able to reveal who was handling them, who are the handlers. We'll talk about that in greater detail in the coming days and weeks.